Okay, let's get started. This is a 1080 project, but I have NTSC footage here that's 720 by 480. It doesn't matter. I want to convert all of this into a drop zone later, so it's just easier working with this size film right now and uh, help speed things up a little bit. The key to breakaway video is in cloning and I'm just going to have three parts break away from this uh, to keep this concise. So. I'm going to select the original video here and type the K key and make a clone. Now, here's the trick. If I make another clone by typing the K key, then the next clone I make is going to be a clone of a clone and not a clone of the original. And that's going to mess things up later, especially with masks and things. So what you need to do is click on the original again and create another clone. Click on the original and you do this for as many clones as you need. Now I'm going to use four clones in this video. So I'll just create these. I'll turn off the original and select all of my clone layers and in the properties tab i'm going to click this little back arrow key to realign them to their the same position as the original video then i want to create a new group to keep this short i'm just going to grab a shape from the shapes library and drag it on the canvas here Hold down the option key and duplicate it three times like that and line it up. There we go. At some point I'm going to need a second group of stars for a background so I'm going to duplicate this group and turn it off for a minute and I'll turn off this bottom clone layer to create masks for each one of these clones all I need to do is drag these individual shapes onto each clone like that they need to be shapes that can't be image masks uh, an image mask is always 2D and uh, you cannot rotate them in 3D space and do other kinds of effects. Uh, it, uh, the effect will be uh, just not exactly what you want. Uh, what we're trying to do is get the video to fit in these shapes and actually be animated. I'm just checking to make sure that the time that these shapes are in existence is actually the full length of the clip here. And they are, so it's fine. Next thing I wanna do is go shape by shape, uh, or clone, actually by clone. Uh, this first one is the bottom one, and I'm going to change the anchor points. And I want to kind of center them up in Kind of the center of mass of each one of these shapes. Like this. And now I have video that is captured inside each one of these shapes that if I rotate these in 3D, 
You can see the video stays clipped to the shape in 3D. I'm going to undo that. Now for this background layer, I'm going to turn these off real quick. And I'm going to take my other group of stars, drag them all on to the background here. And I need to change the mask blend mode to subtract. like that. Now when I turn on my other clone layers, they all fill in. So now we can start animating this. And the first thing I want to do is add a camera and change everything to 3D. I'm going to want a light. And I'm going to move this light back. Change the perspective view. Grab my group. a spotlight, change the intensity to lights up the video to normal. I want an overhead light and I'm going to want to turn on shadows. I'm going to take this down to about 30% on the softness of a shoe. Let's go back to the active camera view. I'm going to add a throw to the background and I'm going to throw it backwards in Z space just a little bit for My bottom star there. I'm going to add a throw and a spin. For the spin, let's just start this going so we can watch what's happening. I want to spin on the y axis. Just get it going like this. Let's get it spinning a little faster. There we go. For the throw, I want it to come straight at us in C space. So I'll turn down the throw velocity to reveal the directions and just bring this up towards us. For this clone layer, I'm going to add a spin. And I want custom. And change the longitude a little. key and drag a copy onto this one and then change its parameters. We'll go negative so it's going in the opposite direction. original video, I'm going to go back and select it, 
and click on the image tab and I'll change it to a drop zone. And this would be the point where you would save this as a template if you wanted to save this as a template uh, to reuse in other projects. But for right now, I'm going to find there's a piece of HD footage. I'm going to drag it on, drop it, and now. So this project can be reused uh, over and over again as a template in Final Cut or in Motion. If you tweak this start coming out at you, you could do this as a fade out transition because it'll go to black right about there. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. Uh, but here's some more tips about how to apply the masks. The masks only work as shapes and they only work as the shapes original pattern if you were to drag a shape from the library and do a transform on it some kind of way like a scale or a rotation the way it is applied to the clone layer is exactly as it is originally created. The only thing that you have control over is the initial position. So even if you start with the star rotated, say 90 degrees, uh, because you're fitting it with, uh, or 72 degrees, because you're fitting it with one of the other stars, when the mask is applied, it's in its upright position again. And it's really weird. So uh, what you need to do is, if you're going to use various shapes, you need to use something as a pattern and actually create a new shape with the Bezier tool or the shape tool of your choice and hand draw it into position that you want as a template and rotate it as a guide, but you need to draw a new shape following however it is to rotate it and then use that as your shape mask on the video. And that's how breakout video is done. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos on the um, shatter effect or the puzzle and even the uh, rose in the crystal cylinder effect, uh, they were all accomplished with the same basic method of creating multiple clones from an original source and then applying shapes and then transforming them or animating them in 3D space. And this is how it's done. Um, I sure hope this was clear enough and I hope this helps.